So we have NVRs and DVRs, but now we also have an XVR, or what we call a hybrid. So with an XVR, go ahead and put this here like that. An XVR is going to take an analog signal. Let's clean this up here a little bit and make it a little bit more readable and presentable for everybody. So we have our router and it goes out here to the PoE switch uh, over Ethernet and then we also have it here going to the XVR. Now we're going to say that these four cameras over here are analog cameras. They're either pre-existing or we just kept using the existing coax uh, to make the connection. So we're going to go ahead and run these back to the XVR directly. Okay, so those all go and they terminate at, at the XVR and make the connection there. Again, don't forget that we also have to run power to each one of these cameras uh, in order to get them all powered up and working out correctly with that. And so in most cases, you can use the pre-existing stuff that's already there and it just gets powered and connected like so. Ta-da. So now we have those pre-existing cameras, or again, if they're just analog cameras and we're just using the pre-existing coax and power cable that's there, we can run that connection from there. Now, in that separate building, what we can do is we can add a PoE switch in that separate building, run a connection back to the router and keep it on the same network as the XVR. Again, we wanna keep it on the same LAN connection as the XVR because the XVR, just like this one here that I have sitting in front of me, is able to see both analog cameras and IP-based cameras. So we now can create a system that's a little bit more of a diversified system where we have a PoE switch separate. I have too many markers with me today. And we can run an ethernet cable using PoE power out to each one of the cameras. And so this creates a nice decentralized system and we have an upgrade path for the additional cameras that we have going on over here and we have the ability to use the pre-existing cabling saving time and money for both you and for your client and so you're just giving them solutions for something like that so really the question that comes down to where and when are you going to use each one an XVR is really straightforward if you have a client who's unsure if they want to do an upgrade of some kind later on. An XVR is super handy because you can say, well, you already have these systems here. Maybe an old DVR has failed and it needs to be replaced. This gives them the ability to go ahead and put in some kind of system that will allow them to see those cameras that are pre-existing. But then also if they think, well, I might upgrade in the future, well, that's perfect because now we can go ahead and add in a PoE switch of some kind add in some additional cameras, run one cable instead of having to run two for each camera, uh, and run those back to that PoE switch, and now that XVR can view those cameras as well.